Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Electric Supercar Channel. This week we're going to be mounting the rear battery box. Let's get to it. Playoff Games is an app where you can play different games and join tournaments to compete for real cash prizes. It is something fun and simple if you like to play mobile games or have some free time. Why not earn some extra money? Playoff Games combines casual gaming with esports, allowing you to monetize your skills by playing your favorite mobile games. However, the most interesting aspect is that you can play it completely free. Simply download it, play it for fun, improve your score, and win real money all fairly. The game I have been playing is Tetris. And the truth is, I love these types of games. You can also track your progress and see your ranking among other players in the community. And the higher you rank, the more money you can earn. So click on the link in the description to download it for free. For those of you who are new to the channel, what we're doing here is we're taking this Porsche, we're making it all wheel drive, 900 horsepower, electric. For anybody who needs to catch up, I'll put a link to the playlist right here. We are underneath the car in the back section here. This is kind of underneath the trunk. This is the rear motor mount that I made. And this section right here is where the rear battery box is gonna go. So there are these kind of threaded pieces here and there. And I hate chopping them off because I think, God, oh, what if I could use that? But I'm afraid those are in the way of where the battery box is gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop them off. I've got my CAD board model and I'm gonna put it up in place um, on the design and everything, I think it works, fits okay, but I don't think I accounted for like the uh, coolant tubes kind of coming in and out. So I'm gonna see where those land. So this one fits up just nicely. So it fits right on this side of the uh, motor mount and then on the other side of the bumper. So it fits really well. Up top, you can see those tubes are okay. Bottom here, this one's okay. This one, that's got a problem. It's, it's close, but I think that's gonna be a problem. So we may need to put like a 90 degree elbow on it. Um, we also have tubes coming out here, but I think um, if I need to, I can notch out of here if I need to. So we'll probably just look at this one tube, see what we can do. All right, so I think I didn't have it quite centered. I think it was shifted off to that side. So um, with that being said, I think we're okay. This one will come out here one there, up there. So I think we're okay on everything. So I will take to CAD and design up some mounts. Um, we've got two good mounts right here, right here, kind of on the frame rails. Um, we also have two good mounts on the bumper. So those are all like kind of M10 sort of big bolts. Um, and then I might put some, I might use these ones here or this here. I placed the rear battery box about where it's going to be. And for me, this is a little too close to the rear bumper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rear bumper off. I'm gonna extend everything by a bit. Not quite sure how much yet, but make sure we got a lot more room between the bumper and the battery box. I'm rebuilding the battery box here in the rear without any of the battery modules. Um, I'm going to be putting this in the rear of the car and using some of the send cut send parts to make the support. Super close, but uh, I'm gonna open up the holes just a little bit. I'm 
Much better. I'm getting the battery box, the rear battery box here into position and I'm just noticing that some of the outlets for the coolant are not gonna be in great places. It's just kind of running into the suspension or running into the sway bar. So what I'm thinking about doing is essentially just flipping it, kind of spinning it this way. So the coolant's going out uh, towards the rear of the car instead of towards the front. I just need to kind of take a minute to make sure that's not gonna upset any of the other things. I think it just means longer tubing. We are here under the car again. One thing I didn't have in place when I did my scan was this rear sway bar. And so the joining method I had for these bolts to here, I'm gonna have to kind of cut short and do some other things. So I'm gonna cut up some steel and weld it. This will be some on the fly engineering. So I've got the steel in place, so under here, there, there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tack everything in place and then I'll probably take this whole box down and weld it all up on my welding table. All right, we also have those all lined up on this side, so we're gonna go ahead and start tack welding. Keeping things square is gonna be a challenge. Got some clamps here. This one wanted to bend out just a little bit. I thought I'd take a quick break, let uh, the equipment cool down, let the piece cool down. Man, a welding table would be awesome. I'm trying to fix your things so uh, things don't get warped, but yeah, I just think there's probably not a chance. I'll show you some of my welds here real quick. Um, I'm gonna have to grind some of them away just cause I've got some overlapping pieces. So this one here on the corner looks good, but I'm probably gonna have another piece um, just to go over the corner for both sides. So after it cools down, I've got these, um, support pieces that will get welded on. These ones actually get welded like so, so I gotta grind down that weld. But uh, we're getting there, we're almost there, and if this thing comes out reasonably straight, it'll be a miracle. All right, this is just about all welded up. The battery box weight will be supported by this. 
um, this strap kind of goes underneath it. So that's a lot of the weight that's gonna do. And I just have kind of a welded corner here. Now that's probably more than fine, but I'm just gonna reinforce it. I cut out a little shape out of cardboard. My thought is um, I'd put it like this and then uh, weld it in place. And again, that'll kind of give a lot of additional strength to that corner. This is a perfect time to mention send, cut, send. I thought I would take some scrap metal and cut these out real quick. And it probably took me over an hour. If I did these on send, cut, send, six dollars for both of them i will give you a quick once over again i'm not uh, very good at welding but i think this is pretty good for me All right, the next part, probably the most important part, is I'm gonna put this back. So I'm gonna put the battery box back on here and it'll be a big question if everything fits or if something warped. I give it like a 50-50. I think I try to keep things pretty straight and as I looked at things, I thought they stayed pretty straight, but yeah, without a real welding table, there's always a big chance. We got so close, but not quite. So on this piece here, I chose to do a U-channel, which is very strong, but there is a little bit in the way over here. So I just have to kind of notch it back a little bit on both sides. Um, I think that's about it. So for now, I'll just drop this. I'll notch this section out on both sides. And then I think that will be good to go. I, I do like those corners a lot better. But anyway, here we are. We need to cut, I've kind of marked some lines here. Let's just cut this little section out here on this side as well as the other side. Only other thought is um, this thing is a beast. Um, I definitely went on the big bulky side. Um, I'm guessing this one weighs, I don't know, like 80 pounds, 40 kilos, something like that, which is just, I think, way more than it needs to be. But it will be very secure and hopefully the batteries will stay very cool. And just like that, we've got these ones sectioned off. So hopefully it'll fit now. We'll try for attempt number two. If I ever make this a kit, that's gonna lose like 40 pounds. All right, I think I'm gonna take the uh, jack down. It is on there and it's looking good. All right, so as far as warping, I don't know that anything warped. If anything, uh, these uprights warped in, which makes it a little tight. Um, so when you're putting things up, you almost have to flex it back to get things to go um, in those, in the screws right there. But uh, other than that, it's really good. So I'll either wanna see if I can pull it back a little bit, maybe open the holes or just leave it. Again, I kind of put my weight and kind of hung and jumped and stuff. So uh, I was looking for any flexing and yeah, this is just super rigid. Um, also under there, um, you can see, oh, well, can you see? But those are the uh, supports that are welded there and fastened, fastened there. 
So again, really rigid, nothing's flexing, nothing's moving. So I'm liking that. All right, you can see from this side, we've got it fastened there, fastened there, and everything's supported well. We had a notch out for the sway bar. And actually I probably need to notch out a little bit more, give it a little more clearance, but there is clearance right now. Yeah, this is looking really good. All right, the last thing I wanna do before we wrap this episode up is the rear bumper. I've kind of just set it here. Um, as you could see, this would be pretty close to the rear battery box and kind of slight bumps would cause potentially some damage. So we don't wanna do that. So let me show you what I've done. So what I've got here is I've got some thick walled steel tubing. I've got some more laser cut parts that match that pattern there. So the thought is I'm going to cut off a section, maybe like a foot. I'm gonna weld it onto that and then also this part here that I just made. So that'll come out here, again, maybe like a foot or so, and that'll just provide a little bit of space. We're still gonna keep all the, I'll call it crumple zone, crash structure, that's all gonna be in place. We're just gonna extend the bumper out uh, about another foot or so. So we've got this extended now. There's plenty of room here. I'm wondering if that's maybe too much. I don't know. Love to hear what you guys think. I'll probably give it a couple days and see how it feels. I think this is good. Once I'm satisfied though, I will disassemble all the different parts and coat them. All right, last time we were here, I just tacked these. So I went ahead and did a full weld. I decided that those were too long, so I cut them down, welded them up. So this is looking really good. And then here's what the final product looks like installed. So we've got, I'll say like a good uh, six inches or so, 15 millimeters between the bumper and the rear of the battery box. Well, we're about halfway there with mounting everything. We've got the front motor mounted. Now we've got the rear battery box mounted. Now we just need to do the rest of the battery box and the rear motor. That'll do it for this time. See you next time. Focus right on my nose. Try it again, man. I did that whole first thing without any audio. And we're gonna make, hopefully that was better.